Hey everybody, it's Jennifer from PopPieGirl.com. Uh, as some of you know, I kind of have this weird fascination with Google and I like to keep an eye on it and try and <laughs> pretend that I can figure out what it's up to. But lately I've, I've recognized something that I think will interest a lot of people. Um, you know how you'll search for something and Google would only show the top two or the ones that it thought were the top two pages from one website on a search result page? Recently, I have noticed something that they're doing new. Um, I keep an eye on Google just by watching my little brand name, Pot Pie Girl. And here's the my, my site, my blog, potpiegirl.com, and it shows my Google automatic generated site links, which are really cool. And then, of course, there's always been this more results from potpiegirl.com link down here. And if you click it, it would take you to a site, potpiegirls.com, search for the term Pot Pie Girl and return all those pages. But what I've noticed is something new. If you scroll on down and come here to the Squidoo site, we now see an option to show more results from squidoo.com. And if you click it, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six more pages from the Squidoo site show up and then you can see all the results from Squidoo if you choose to. This is a uh, I think this is really great N not just for Squidoo and obviously not just <laughs> for me uh, but I think this is a great way to get more web pages from a site to give them more exposure give the searchers more options. Uh, I had a hard time forcing this to come up for a lot of searches but here's one that was interesting for me how to train your dog. As you can see, here's their authority site, their site links, and your option to see more results from the site uh, that's always been there. But if you scroll down, you see this little link for eHow, and eHow is being given the option to show more pages from their site about how to train your dog, which is interesting. However, if I change this search query to how to train a dog, we get the same authority site at the top and we scroll on down and see a couple of videos there from YouTube. And then here's eHow, but they're not given the option to show more pages, they're just showing one. I thought that was uh, very interesting how sensitive it is right now. Some other terms I've found it for are uh, baseball tickets, uh, StubHub, they get the option right here to show more pages from their site. Um, what are some other ones? Uh, swine flu. We've got two of them. CDC gets one and also Wikipedia gets one. Um, get Squidoo Lens Indexed. That's one I took a look at today. And we get more options from my little old site here which I think is extremely cool and we get more options from the Squidoo site which I think is also very cool and it's great for the Squidoo site um, what are some other ones I made it come up for uh, oh PGA Golf is one I think this one is really a good user-friendly search result shows the FedEx Cup standings and PGA.com has their normal more results but down here PGA Tour lets the users actually open more results in this current page. All in all I, I think this is very neat. Um, it works for some of the options too. You all know how I am about forum results and as you can see it's giving those options in forums so you can see more results from that forum site on that topic which that's great for kind of forum research I like to do on topics. All in all, I think this is a great change from Google. Thank you, Google. Uh, we'll see if it lasts. We'll see if people actually click it and start learning to use it, but could it actually let a little bit more organic traffic into your web pages on your site or onto your lenses or your articles. So keep an eye on it. See if it helps you out any. This is Jennifer from poppiegirl.com. Y'all have a great day.